Hey, my program guys, my name is Marshall Marty, and welcome to part 10 of the Python and Pygame 2 of our tutorial series. This tutorial, we're going to be getting to some exciting stuff, actually getting some visual progress onto the screen. So we're going to actually be able to see our Mr. Square, or whatever he is going to be. And so let's plug in our USB that has our code on it. Lock and load. And to edit a Python file, all you have to do is right click on it, and then hit edit with idle. Good to go. So let's scroll down into the main function. And where we have the platform sprite group, we're going to want to create a player sprite group. So we can just type player, and we can name it group. Well, should know what it is, because we are being very specific with our variable naming. I'll set this equal to a pygame.sprite.group. And the reason we can't actually use the platform group for this is because then, say, if a certain test will only happen for the player group, well, if it was grouped into the same thing, it would actually be running for platform group. So it would be running at the same time, and that would, pro that would not go too well. And whoops, why is there not two, some parentheses there? Need that. And actually, I'm not sure if you actually need those parentheses. I don't really know. I think it's kind of optional because it was running without any error. So, I mean, we'll see if it decides to spit out an error now because of our parentheses. So, hit a five to save it and run it. And no errors. And now, what we want to do is we want to scroll down into the while game running loop. And here we can use that variable called timer that we created up here. And we set timer equal to a pygame.time.clock. And we can set this to tick. So we can just type timer and then add a dot and then tick. And then we'll give it some parameters. And the parameters you're going to give it is how fast you want it to tick it. And we're going to go with 60 frames per second. So this is going to give us some time, a time scale for it. And here what we want to do is we want to add the player class, the player object to the player group. So just all you have to do is just type player group and then dot add. Dot add. Give it some parentheses and the parentheses you want the parameter you want to give it is the player object or if it was the platform class you want to give it the platform object but this is for the player object so we want to give it the player object obj because that i'm pretty sure i have a feeling that's how we spelt it uh let's just let's make it look clean and keep it consistent because if we say player obj here instead of object and then we don't so it say it down here for the camera object it can get confusing fast so let's not confuse ourselves for no real reason programming is tough enough without adding any of our extra difficulty levels to it so inside the while game running what we want to do we want to go right um why okay so i have timer ticking twice okay that was a dumb idea so here in the while game running loop while loop in the while game running while loop that's kind of a that's a tongue twister right there so after the uh, again event gathering what we want to do here is we're going to want to get the, the camera object to update so we go camera and then obj whoops that's with an a and then obj o b j i don't think there's an h but i guess it sounds similar and then we want to type dot update so it's going to update and the parameter we're going to give it is the player object and it's going this way it's going to update around the player objects movements and the coordinates and stuff like that so obj and good to go and now here before we have the timer ticking what we want to do here is create another for loop and to create a for loop all you have to do is type for create a very quickie variable and all you have to do is just set just something ra completely random that would work but that's going to be kind of complicated to type out so we're just going to leave it x so for x in the player group so player group so basically the way for loop works in python it's a little confusing compared to other languages but here's how it basically works it basically runs through uh, let's say this chunk of code here. It runs through this list here, and then every time it sees a C, oh, see a C there, C there, C there, C there. Okay, it's gonna run whenever it sees it. So hit new line. Then here we're going to want to actually display something on the screen. So we're going to use the screen, the screen variable. Then dot blit is the Python's way of saying display something on the screen. It decided to say blit because I don't know. I just the, it, the guys created Python decided that blit sounded pretty cool. So inside here, we're going to give it the parameter. We're going to give it the parameter of x dot image. So the first parameter is what are you actually blitting? Well, this is the x dot image, which is the player's image at a comma. Then the next print, the next parameters we want to give it is the position. So the position here is going to be the camera's position of on the screen. So camera obj, obj, and then dot apply hit apply and then open up the parentheses and then x so the reason we don't go update here is because it's not updating based on this based on the 4x and player group it's just applying to it so it sees so it recognizes on the screen so now if we hit f5 hopefully no errors 
and yes errors, syntax error. So there's different kinds of errors, but basically a syntax error says you didn't write your code right. So 4x, oh wait, that's right. You have to have an in player group. So it goes 4x in player group. So that's how you do a for state, a for loop. Okay, let's try it now. But I'm feeling we have, no, yep, another error. Yep, player is not defined, that's right. It's not player. It player dot add. Okay, it's player group. Ah, there we go. No problem. F five. And now probably another error. No. Yep. All right. So I think I know where our error card is coming from. It's inside the camera class, I believe, and I think it's target. Should be target dot rect because it's this here is an x and y coordinate position and width and height position, not just the target itself. So now if we hit F five, hopefully no errors. But no, no, we have errors. So I'm not sure quite where the player object is coming from. So we're going to find it by just all you have to do is type in the exact thing that you're looking for. And our, what we're looking for is player object. For some reason, whenever I type player object, a spell is guaranteed. I just have typos with that. Find next. Here we go. Okay, and remember, we were just going with OBJ because it was shorter. But it's important to keep it consistent because as you just saw, that error came from that problem. And yes, where is it? So it's not updating because it's blitting the image before the screen fills with a red color. So it's just covering all that up with red color. So we can just hashtag this out. So hashtag is to do a comment, hit a five. Now we should actually see a little square in the screen. Yep, we have a little square in the screen like promised. He looks good though, eh? It's only pretty small. Let's make him a bit bigger. Let's make him by 50 by 50 because I think that's where we're going. Because he's a little bit small, eh? So 50 by 50. That looks fairly decent I, in my mind. I mean, you can make it as big or as small as you want it. And if I mean, if you have a 4K display, you might want to make it bigger or smaller. It doesn't really matter. Uh, no, no, he seems, seems nice. That was the block class I just did that too. Oh, okay, well, let's do that same thing to the player class. So let's go with uh, 50, not 550, just 50 by 50. And is anything for here? Right in here, scroll down. And 50, comma, by 50. Hit F5, okie dokie. And we have a 50 by 50 square, like requested, on demand, on the screen. So, alright, so we have visual progress. We have a green square displayed on the screen. So, the next tutorial we're going to be covering is we're going to get the square to actually be hopefully moving around. So, we'll see what happens. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or comments about Python or Pygame, leave that down in the comment section. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Shh, Marshall Mario.